What is up guys? Today we're going to be taking a look into those long term positions that I took on a couple of different Bitcoin stocks back a few months ago when I attempted day trading Bitcoin. And if you haven't seen that video yet, then I am going to leave a link in the upper right hand corner, I believe, of this video. That way you can gain some more context before we dive into this video. But if you have already watched it and have already hit that like and subscribe button to help me out in the YouTube algorithm, then just stay tuned and we'll see how those positions turned out. So as we are all well aware, 2021 has been pretty hectic in the cryptocurrency world. <laughs> It literally feels like anything and everything is just absolutely skyrocketing to the moon right now. We are not even halfway into the year and Bitcoin is already up 104%, Ethereum is up 417%, and the cryptocurrency that was made as a complete joke is already up 14,622%. This is just, this is nuts. But I hope a lot of you guys recall that video of me trying to day trade Bitcoin back when it was just sitting around $11,000. Because right now, it's sitting around $60,000. <sighs> Looking back, it does kind of hurt knowing that my $1,000 could have turned into $4,000 by now just by simply holding Bitcoin. But oh well, it's in the past now. Anyways, midway into that video, I gave a brief summary of a couple of long-term positions that I took on a couple of different Bitcoin Sympathy plays, aka BTCS and BTSC. For a little refresher, we call them Bitcoin Sympathy plays because if Bitcoin were to spike, then you would also see these stocks most likely follow in its footsteps and spike as well. So I put $500 into each one of these stocks and now that Bitcoin has reached over $60,000, the question that I'm sure all of you are wondering and even myself is, have you hit that like button yet? And how much are my positions currently up? Well, let's take a look. I kind of have some really bad news, guys, especially for myself. <laughs> we are not going to be able to purchase the Lamborghini off the lot today. Now, don't get me wrong, both of the stocks did take off. All that is completely true, and you can even look up the stock tickers if you'd like, but I kind of sold my positions a bit too soon. <clears throat> In fact, it was before they even took off. An idiot sandwich. Trust me, I am just as disappointed in myself as you guys are in me right now. We could have made boatloads of money, but instead we actually took a pretty sizable hit on one of the positions. And of course, here are some painful calculations that I had to include just to show you guys how much I would have made if I just held onto my position and sold near the stock's peak highs. But it will all be okay, guys, because on this channel, we do not sorrow over our losses, but we learn from them. Nice. But I still want to give you guys an update on how the stocks are doing today. And even with Bitcoin sitting at its near highs, the stocks are not really looking too good. BTCS spiked huge and was even over $3 at one point, but has now faded off and is now consolidating under $1. And BTSC was looking like Dogecoin for a second, trading from a fraction of a penny all the way up to 17 cents, but has now faded back down as well and is hovering around 4 cents as we talk. Yet, even with how far they've fallen off from their highs, I would still be up a decent position from my initial entry. Okay. <laughs> That's enough talking about how much I would have made if I had simply just held. Now, a couple of you guys have asked me about what I think about Bitcoin in the future, and here's what I think. With major companies like Goldman Sachs offering new Bitcoin derivatives to big Wall Street investors, as well as Apple and PayPal integrating new Bitcoin transactions, and even Kevin O'Leary has invested over 3% of his entire portfolio into Bitcoin, which what he once said was complete trash, Children are gonna watch this. Has made me realize that this may not be just a simple fad, but could very likely be something that is here to stay and possibly adopt into our near future. With more and more investors, news, and hype coming into play, we are only gonna see Bitcoin spike even more. So much that analysts are predicting that Bitcoin will be over $100,000 before the end of 2021. Wow. And the same buildup goes for other leading cryptos as well, such as Ethereum, Ripplecoin, 
and even Dogecoin, which is now worth more than Ford. So is this the beginning of a new cryptocurrency era? Well, I think we'll just get out to wait and see. But in the meantime, if you found this video to be helpful or even comical about how much money I could have made, then make sure to hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. This is Nick Barner. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.